Hey, it's me, Tyler. Bose open earbuds are stylish. The color, the way it looks, it looks almost like an earring, you know, so I feel like it could go with anything. My style is very fun. I feel like I always look like I'm on holiday. I just really like playing around with it and tying it to the music. So yeah, I really feel like the music I'm making right now feels like a holiday, so I want to look like it too. Check out Bose.com for more. The family that vacations together stays together. At least that was the plan. Except now the dastardly desk clerk is saying he can't confirm your connecting rooms. Uh, wait, what? That's right, ma'am. You have rooms 201 and 709. No, we cannot be five floors away from our kids. Eh, the doors have double locks. They'll be fine. When you want your connecting rooms confirmed before you arrive, it matters where you stay. Welcome to Hilton. I see your connecting rooms are already confirmed. Hilton, for the stay. This show is part of the Headstuff Podcast Network. Hello, how are you getting on? And welcome to episode three of my lovely podcast, Listen, I'm Delicious. You'll be very happy to know that you're now listening to the number one podcast in Ireland. That's right. We have excelled above all other podcasts. Um, I will be now claiming this as the number one podcast in Ireland. I don't care if we go down to like 183. We are still considering ourselves the number one podcast. So here you are. Welcome. It's a joy for you. Um, It's kind of a funny thing, actually. I remember when I I used to play music in pubs and uh, I used to play in the odd wedding band as well. And every single wedding band in Ireland is the number one wedding band in Ireland. You'll know this if you got married. You'll have picked between like 40 different wedding bands all claiming to be the number one wedding band in Ireland. I don't know who's actually deciding or where they're getting this title from, but in my case, I actually am number one. It said it on Spotify, so there you go. Um, This week we have Lauren Whelan. Lauren Whelan is uh, an influencer extraordinaire, a fashionista. Um, she's, uh, uh, She's in the same sort of field as me. She does her TikToks, um, but we do a very different side of TikTok. I'm sort of like the dad side of TikTok. I make videos largely for older people. Um, Mine are less cool. She's like young and hip, fashionable. Um, Though I think I'm fashionable myself. Today we do a fit check. So you get to see me show off my... I get a lot of questions about, Garen, what were you wearing there? It was gorgeous. Show me, where did you get it? Finally, those questions are going to be answered. I'm going to give a shout out here, a completely unsponsored shout out, Okay to a, a, a company called Big Dude, right? So just look it up, Big Dude. I get a lot of messages from larger men. If you're tall, if you're fat, it's hard to find clothes that fit you properly. I have this problem as well. I also have size 14 feet. So it's hard to get those clothes. Big Dude is where I get mine. They have shirts in it. This is not sponsored. This is a public service for other fat men. They're not paying me. I'm just letting you know. So you can get your clothes there. Shall we do a fit check for today? I think we should do a little bit of a fit check for today. We do one with Lauren, but I'm wearing I'm wearing something different. We recorded this a few days ago. So uh, let me just stand up here. Hopefully you can still hear me. So today I've got the shirt. It's this is my this is my fancy shirt. So you'll see me wearing this shirt when I'm doing something important. And if I'm doing something important, I'll have the shirt closed. If I'm doing something a bit more casual, what I'll do is I'll open it up a bit sexier. And sometimes. Sometimes what I like to do is I like to just open the top few buttons. I think it makes me just look a bit more stylish. I'll show you that in a second. I'm wearing actually what what would appear to be. You can't hear me. (laughs) One second. I'm wearing what would appear to be the same pants as in the video. But I actually have 10 of these exact pants. I have 10 black pairs of jeans. I have this shirt. One sec. (laughs) I have this shirt twice. I have another blue shirt twice. And I have a red and green shirt three times. So I have about 10 shirts, but most of them are very similar. When I was on the Late Late Show last week, somebody um, commented that I was wearing the same shirt, (laughs) the same blue shirt on the Late Late Show as I was wearing in the TikTok that they played on the Late Late Show from four days earlier. Now, I have to be honest with you and say, 
those were, that was the same version of the blue shirt, but it had been through the wash, okay? So yeah, I, I know what I like. Um, I like three colors. I like three shirt designs. And that's what I wear. Wear pretty much the same pants every day. Sometimes you'll catch me in tracksuit bottoms if I'm feeling a bit sporty, a little bit, you know, if I want a bit of a stretch. But uh, yeah, we talk, another thing we talk about today with Lauren is dreams. Uh, I'm going to do a podcast on dreams at some point because I, what I want to get on is somebody who like analyzes dreams and we're going to talk through all my dreams because I have very, very weird dreams and I have a lot of recurring dreams. So I want to get them sorted out, but I will apologize. I believe that I tell you about the same dream I've already told you about in another podcast today. So you might have to listen to that dream again. I apologize. Um, I will look into it in the future and I'll make sure that all of my recurring dreams are told and then we will leave it. You won't have to hear about them again. So that's the podcast. Lauren has brought in a couple of items of food, but we didn't get dinner because I forgot to remind her to bring dinner. So that was my fault. But we have our snacks. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go. Let's chat to Lauren Whelan. Stay delicious. Hello, how are you getting on? And welcome to another fabulous episode of Listen, I'm Delicious. We have a fabulous guest today, Miss Lauren Whelan, hey. social media starlet. She's all over the world making TikToks, <laughs> making a name for herself. You're blowing me way out of proportion here. I think I blew, blew you in proportion there. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. I'm very happy to have it. She's like, uh, she's going to be like the cool side of TikTok. I do TikTok as well, but I'm like, like sort of a, like a geography teacher doing TikTok. Oh, sure. You're, you're oh, more, no. you're more the youth. You you understand the youth. You're, so you're, would... you're going to explain the, the normal part of TikTok to me today. You're fairly normal to me, I think. I don't know. I don't See, know. See, the thing is, you know, even the content I make, I don't really consume it as much as I would consume content that you make. Why like, is that? I watch, I don't know. Why don't, why don't you shout a cup of tea then? <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like I can't do that. It's not funny when I do it, but it's funny when you do it. And then, but I don't watch like what I do as much as I, do you know what I mean? All right, okay. I'm not going to lie. I don't watch a lot of like, so the, the actually, the, the first video I ever seen of yours was, oh. um, it was you sticking two pieces of garlic <laughs> up your nose. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I was like, this is this is a fascinating page. Yeah, <laughs> and I haven't done it since. Yeah. Did it work? It it works, but like, well, now, okay. So that I did, I made so that video. So for context, like, you weren't just sticking garlic up your nose for fun. No, I heard it was like a life act for hay fever. Like, if you have loads, of, like, I get really bad hay fever during the summer. Like, my eyes swell up. I look like I've been stung by a bee. It's really bad. Um, so I, it was supposed supposed to clear your sinuses or something like that. Right. Okay. So I did it, and then. I, I don't even want to like go into too much. Oh, actually, maybe if I go into detail, people won't actually look it up. So don't look it up. I'm going to tell you what actually happens. It's pure snot that just comes out of my nose. It's like a tap. It's yeah. rotten. Uh, so I did that and the video got like 500 million views. Jeez. Something <laughs> stupid. Like, stupid. I got like 800,000 followers off that one video. That's insane. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah. And you taught lots of people how to get rid of a lot of snot out of their nose. But then, so I did it, and then I went on Ireland AM, and because of that video, and they had they had like a professional on before me, and they were like, "Yeah, so don't do that. It's actually just mucus, and it's really bad for your nose." And I was like, "Whoops, <laughs> <laughs> whoops." Who cares what the experts have to say? Yeah, like, the experts. <laughs> the video was proof of concept. Exactly. You looked, you looked pretty cleared out after that was done. Oh, it was cleared. <laughs> yeah, I had nothing came out of me for a good three to four days. So. How did you get started with TikTok? Was that what got you started? Or did you were no. you making videos before that? I've been doing it since I was 16. Okay, right. Yeah. Okay. So the first like video I made was... Like, I just downloaded it for fun. Like, I was in TY, so I literally had nothing better to be doing. Um, so I downloaded it in school to make a video with all the lads because there was a trend on it at the time and it was like a song and all the boys had to like wink, basically. Yeah. So I did that and then I just kept like making videos and they just blew up. I think I got like... 50k within two months or something so it's pretty quick that's mad and there wasn't a lot of Irish people on the app at the time because it only turned to TikTok um, but yeah that's kind of how I started and then I was just making videos for fun like I was in school still I was studying like I was in the middle of my or I was supposed to set my leave in certain 2020 and then COVID hit and I got signed by management and then it's just been that ever since fabulous yeah. there you go real mm -hmm. success story yeah and you're from you're, you're from Carlo, are you? yeah yeah do you know there's a big picture of you plastered on the side of the barracks in Carlo? <laughs> I know, I get sent it all the time. Every, every day, I'm like, and when you, uh, so I saw that you were playing there and I was like, oh my God, we all have to go. And I wasn't even in the country. Yeah. The one time you're in Carlo, I'm not in the country. 
People keep going, now people keep sending me messages. I literally get a message, I'd say, every two days going, oh, Karen, I'm definitely coming to see you in Carlo. And they send me a picture of that. Like, I did the gig over a year ago. Yeah, I know. And they still have it. Now, I have to admit, you know, I can It's a fab I can sort of see why they left it yeah. there. I look fairly handsome you on it. Very they, did handsome. A cool, they did a cool graphic, so yeah. I'm kind of happy with it. But uh, yeah, listen, I'm I'm glad you have it. You can keep it there. It's become a mural at this point. What did you think of Carlo when you were there? I loved Carlo. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo's a great I spot. loved Car- Carlo. Carlo's always a county that I took the piss out of for no reason. Like I just assumed but, like, why that w- Carlo was a dive. But it's actually a lovely place. It is a dive, man. I'm, uh, you can say it. It Go is on. a dive. <laughs> no, no. Jeffrey- it's actually not that bad. It's But like it's not that good either. No, but plenty of places are worse. Tyrone. Is worse. I've never been to Tyrone, so I can't Don't say. Don't go. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm only joking. They're violent. I'm only joking. <laughs> <laughs> don't do, don't do yeah, anything no, don't I say do seriously. Don't do anything to me. I love Tyrone. No, love him. Um, so you're from Carlow. Where do you, where are you, where do you live now? Are you in Dublin? Yeah, I just moved up to Dublin. Oh, very four fun. weeks I just ago. moved to Dublin too. I'm, I'm <gasps> yeah, a re- I didn't know that. I'm a reformed culture as well. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel? I, lo- I like it. Yeah, I like it. I sort of miss... Like I miss the cows and stuff. Yeah. But I sort of like I live like right in the city centre. Oh no way! I live in an apartment. Uh, Are you by yourself? Yeah, I used to live like in an. I like, like I used to live in a house. I was paying nothing yeah. for it in Mayo. I had a lovely big house. Yeah. And now, now I'm in an apartment. It's grand. Like, Did you have grand. any roommates with the house, or was it just yourself? No, like you don't pay anything, and nobody wants to live in Balna. Like so, <laughs> like they're probably if you'll take the house, they'll probably give it to you. True. Uh, yeah. yeah, probably. But uh, no, D- Dublin's all right. There's a lot of options on Deliveroo. I enjoy That's that. The first thing someone said to me when I moved up was like, "The Deliveroo is sick." Yeah, I've like, got yeah, like 394 restaurants near me. It's ridiculous, yeah. but like the amount I pay for delivery each time is atrocious. But insane. one of the girls pays like nine euro a month for a delivery. Delivery premium, so you don't pay. You don't pay the fee every time, right? Because I keep putting it on because I don't want my food to get cold. So I keep paying the bastards an extra two fifty. Yeah, for I know. Priority. So do I. Not that they're bastards, but it's expensive. Like, it gets pricey. It is expe- it's fair. Fe- I went expensive. into my, I went into my accountant the other day, and he was like, he was like, Garen, like, um, you're spending probably a bit too much money. I was like, right, yeah. Well, like, I don't really buy anything. He was like, well, you're getting like a fair bit of delivery, man. I was like. All right, okay. I was like, because I thought there's a place I really like called Camden Rotisserie, and okay. they do like they do like they do like rotisserie chicken and potatoes and gravy, like and, a full roast, gra- like yeah, like a, the full the whole shebang. And I was at one point, right? I did well for myself one month. Okay, I'll admit it. I did well one month, and I blew a lot of it in Camden Rotisserie. <laughs> I was like, geez, it's a fine dinner. We'll get it again today. Will we? Well, it's just when you you've never had that luxury, and then you're like, whoa, like no. so many fucking options. Right? Yeah, it's insane. Like, is in in. In Balana, like, there's two restaurants on, on Deliveroo. Yes. And both of them are Apache Pizza. Okay, so perfect. one of them's Apache Pizza and one of them's, like, another name, but it's still Apache it's still Pizza. Apache I don't pizza. know what's happening there, but that's right. what they're doing. That's the only option. And I love Apache Pizza, and not just because they sponsored me before, but I love Apache yeah, Pizza. Yeah, but if you're having it every day. Yeah, it's just, you know, when I was like, oh, I can order, like, I I go on sometimes if I'm if I'm going to order, I go on and order something really weird. I'm like, yeah. oh, I'm going to try, like, what's like what's this? Yeah. I ordered, like, I got a lot of sushi the last day. Ooh, are you a sushi guy? I'm su- not. Sushi's my favorite food. <gasps> but I only discovered, like, in the last two months because I'd never was exposed sushi's to it Sushi's your before. favorite food in the last two months. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. It could be excitement, you know, when something's new, it's yeah. Fresh, you're yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, I got a lot of sushi the last day, and like I normally get normal sushi, but I was like, oh, I'm gonna get this one. I don't know the name of, and I hate it. I think really? it was, there was octopus or something. On oh, it. it was God. really chewy. No, I can't yeah, deal with the texture. Obviously, my main highlight of coming to Dublin <laughs> is Deliveroo. <Shut> <laughs> How are you finding Dublin? I love Dublin. I really like it. Yeah. Like it's. See, it's kind of weird because I thought I'd feel so different coming up here from being in Carlo, but because I was up in Dublin so often anyway, it actually doesn't feel that much different. Yeah. And so it's... A, That's it, why I moved because yeah. um, I was having to come up here like four or five days a week because there's nothing really happens in May also. Yeah. Anytime I had to do something, I had to come up to Dublin. Mm-hmm. And it got to the point where it was costing me so much in hotels and stuff. I was like, I, even hotels. though Dublin is expensive, I yeah. actually have to move. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, that's why Like I'm paying at. 300 quid for a hotel each time you come up is it's insane. ridiculous. Yeah. It's atrocious. Yeah, it's insane. It's so bad. So, yeah, no, it feels great to be up here and just the convenience of everything. Like, even, like, coming up to do this now, it's like, it's only a half an hour away. Perfect. Whereas, like, it'd be an hour and a half from Carlo. Yeah. And it's just, oh, I love it. Yeah, an hour and a half. I was at four hours from now. I had to come up four, an, uh, an hour and a half. And you don't drive, do you? <laughs> I don't, no. Get That's the train. insane. Yeah, I'm learning now. Are you? Yeah, In yeah, Dublin? Yeah. No, I'm learning in a field in Balmullet. 
Perfect. Yeah, so yeah. I go back, we go back every now and again and they bring me out to the field and I go drive them. So, yeah, yeah I'm planning on probably within the next three years. I take things slow. I'm a, I'm a, three slow, burn, years. I'm a slow burner. So. Okay, well, fair. I took, did take me four times to pass my test. So. I, I'm like, I'm not afraid of a lot of things, but I'm irrationally afraid of about three things. Okay. Um, I, I won't go into them all, but it's hot, it's it's helicopters. Um, okay. Um, and uh, driving and also um, the McMuffin from... Um, McDonald's. Yeah, why does it? Why is it shaped like that? I've like got a recurring nightmare about it. I've actually already talked about okay, it. Okay, okay, we won't go into I, detail I, again. I'm just going to wind up saying the same three nightmares <laughs> I have on on every single podcast. Okay. I have like three. I only have three nightmares, but I have them regularly, and they're just about three specific things. Do you but get I, sleep? Sorry, sidetrack. Sleep paralysis. Do you get that? Yeah, I used to get it. I used to get it all the time. I've gotten out of it now. My but... roommate gets the woman that sits on her chest. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, she wasn't. Kinky. My okay. my woman wasn't touching me. She was <laughs> she was keeping me at arm's length. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she wasn't quite ready to commit to physical touch. Okay, yeah. She's just kind of staring at me, eyeing me up. But yeah. no, there was no... Uh, no, no, I, no touching. I, she's, uh, listen, you're welcome. If you want to, <laughs> touch me if you, if you want. want to come in and sit on my chest, <laughs> go for it. Uh, that sounds scary, though. It is a bit, like, yeah. uh, So what I get is it's like... Um, it's like, uh, so like, I don't really get it anymore. I used to get it quite a bit. But when, mm-hmm. I, when I'm asleep, there's this real small fellow with a beard. And he's yeah. Uh, sorry, everything that happens. It's Eric right. Roberts. I know. <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> it is, I, wish. <laughs> I wish. He's a, he's a handsome man. He's I wish. a very handsome man. Yeah. So it's like a, it's like this small. He's like a gnome, but he's like yeah. Do you know he's evil? Yeah. And he comes in and he's looking up at me, and then okay. I can't move, and then then I can move. Do you, have you ever got it? I've never had it. It's weird, yeah. yeah. I, I, Does she get it every night? Not every night, but like, if you, she, she gets it regularly. But like, I get bad dreams when I eat cheese before bed. <laughs> I've, no, I've discovered, because like, I used, I I make this taco bowl, right? And I have it like most days, just protein and gym and shit, whatever, yeah. boring stuff. Of and, course, I know well. <laughs> <laughs> but I found that when I would eat it at night, because I put so much Parmesan cheese on it, yeah. I get really bad nightmares. Right, okay. Really, what, really what's bad What's the nightmares. worst nightmare you've ever had? Um, <sighs> Do you have any that stick out to you? I used to have this one reoccurring one that there was like a man hanging on the back of my door every time I closed my yeah. bedroom door. So I'd it would like I would think like I'm just getting ready for bed. Like yeah. the dream is me getting ready for bed, so it feels so realistic. And then I just close the door, and then there's like a man like hanging from it. Yeah, and I get that all the time. And then I just wake up every time the that's, door closes. Yeah, that sounds quite scary. My dreams are like they are sometimes scary, but like they're so. They're so, like, they're not, they don't happen, no, like, my dreams are, like, all over the place. Like, it's yeah. just a load of random shit happening, so it's really hard to explain them. Like, my dream would be, like, I'm on a bus, and somebody's trying to kill me on the bus, and then I'm running, and all of a sudden, I'm in Supermax, and there's my mam, and she's okay. shifting Lewis Capaldi, and now <laughs> there's, like, now a helicopter is after crashing through the roof. But, like, in the dream... I'm reacting to it as if it's all, oh, fuck yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Like, it's all, it all makes perfect sense. Yeah. When I get up, I'm like, what the fuck? What's that? I always have, this is like, I, this, you're going to think I'm an Egypt for saying this. I always have dreams about things and then they happen. Okay. So, I had this before about my rabbit. So Your rabbit? I predicted the death of my rabbit. I predicted. Now, he was already dead, but I didn't know he was already dead. You thought he was hibernating. So what happened is, this could be a repressed memory, actually. Just let me think. Um, okay. So, what happened <laughs> It might was, have happened. <laughs> What happened was, is that I'm really interested in what you're going to tell the okay. future about. This is the one instance that it happened to me. I was um, asleep, obviously. And, <laughs> and I was like, I had this dream that a dog killed my rabbit. Okay. And then I woke up and the rabbit was gone. And I was like, where's the rabbit? Like, And mom was like, oh, he's just, we took him to some bullshit. You tell kids like, oh, he's... To the farm. He's grand. He's yeah. gone. No, he was coming back like... And uh, I was like, oh, that's grand. So it's just, I had a bit of a dream about him. So I'm a bit worried about him. If you could put us in contact as soon as possible, yeah. that'd be great. Um, so anyway, a few days go by and she goes, actually, the rabbit is dead. The rabbit was killed. Oh. Fluffy. The rabbit. Uncreatively Fluffy. named rabbit. Oh. Um, yeah, and he was he was dead. So that's the only time I've been psychic. I yeah. needed it once and I didn't like it. So I didn't go back to it. I've been psychic a few times. Okay, let's hear it. But it's, all, it's so bad. It's always about boys. Okay. Always. So the last time... Oh, is it? He's going to be a prick. I wouldn't call that psychic. No, 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 no. <laughs> Well, we can expect that most of the time. <laughs> no, it, it's it's always like when they're about to like end things or like do something. Okay. So the first time it happened, it was last summer and I was seeing a guy and I had a dream that in the dream, I was like, oh yeah, I can, you like come with me. And he's like, no, no, no. And he's running to another girl. Ooh. And then the next day he texts me and he was like, yeah, I'm trying to get back with my ex. 
Ooh, man. Yeah. And then the last time, the, uh, the time after that was also with an ex. And, well, obviously, there, he's an ex now. I don't have anyone now. Um, but it was like, uh, we were, like, talking. And then he was like, no, no, no. But, like, then he would be, like, he'd be running away, but then looking to make sure I'm still there. And then running and then looking to make sure I'm still there. And then my ex texted me and he was like, yeah, I just want to be friends. Oh wow! It's they're like sort of specific, is it? Oh, like yeah. it's like it's not. You're not just predicting the breakup. You're like predicting like how it's the gonna... style of the mm-hmm. breakup. It's like oh, he's looking back at me still. Okay, yeah. So you you so you can predict breakups. Apparently, you could go into business with that. You know? I could. Yeah, I reckon you could. But I can't predict. Well, I can predict them, but like that doesn't make me any more prepared for them. And does, so, do you think that that's like? Do you think like maybe you're you're clairvoyant, or do you think that you're just seeing the signs and your brain's gone? Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen. Yeah, maybe it's just trying to give me some signals. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. trying to warn me, but I'm like, ah, no, they're in love with me. Yeah, yeah. And they're ne- yeah, they never. Yeah, I, I pretty much think that about everybody I meet. I'm like, ah, they're, they're they probably are. They're in love with me. They probably <laughs> are. They probably are. So okay, so you're clairvoyant. Yeah, it's uh, okay. So that's, that's one of your skills. Yeah. I think you should bring that into the TikTok. Videos. I probably should. I've never talked about that before. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> She's clairvoyant, an exclusive. A tenor per session, right? Okay. Do, do you have all these people commenting on your TikTok videos, trying to like give people psychic readings? Yeah. Have you started getting this all of a sudden? All the time. All, all my videos have like time. ninety comments for somebody going, "I just got a feeling off you. Contact yeah. me with forty euro, and I'm going to tell you your future." Or no, I get DMs as well. Myself. Oh, I get plenty of DMs, and they're like, "I just sent." like that this and you're seeing a person with this and like they're not good for you and I'm like oh my god probably, <laughs> <laughs> probably. see I always get like um, they always see they always butter me up so they're always like oh, oh you, you've got a special energy and I'm like oh it's so true I'm like oh do I have that okay see you believe them because you're like yeah I do yeah, actually I'm like, I'm like where's this going okay yeah. special energy <laughs> yeah. let's hear about it and then she's like, yeah, just give me 40 euro and I've got something uh, to tell you. I'm like oh you just want to you don't think yeah. I've got a special energy at all no um yeah, there's a lot of sidekicks recently. Uh, but I was going to ask you about, so so your content is very, we're, we're sort of like the opposite ends of yeah. TikTok, I feel like. So I'm like, I've always said, I'm like, I feel like I'm like the geography teacher of mm-hmm. Irish TikTok. That's that's how I view myself. And you're sort of more, you're sort of more, you're like the youth, you're doing like get ready with me. Yeah. Fit checks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have I got those right so far? I don't know yeah, any of the other no, ones. I think I'm, I think I'm a bit off air with it I now. do a bit of a vlog here and there. Bit of a vlog, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit yeah. of a vlog. So I was thinking, mm-hmm. we should do a fit check right now. Oh my God, can we please? We should, we should both do a fit check. So oh my God. I, I'm going to slightly move the microphone so you can still so you can still hear me. We might have to do like a slightly bent over fit check. That's, that's okay. okay. Let's go. Everything's better slightly bent over. Okay, so, so, sorry if I'm ruining the shot here. Where? Okay, where are we standing? I, I don't know. I haven't thought this through. I just thought it was a good idea in the moment. Okay, so we'll bring you into the center of the shot. You okay. can do your fit check first. Okay. Okay. Well, outfit of the day. Is this the outfit story? of the day? I'm gonna bring over. I'm gonna bring over okay. the microphone. So this is like fit check ASMR. Yeah. Right. Okay. So top is from H and M. Okay. My jeans are I actually don't really know. Ragged. From Ragged. ASOS. They're like green, and then my shoes are campuses, Adidas campuses from size. The jewellery is Enchant and Linnet. And my aura is fabulous. Okay. There you go. No, go. Now it's my <laughs> goal. Um, hopefully I'm still in shot. Okay, so what you've got here is a shirt. Uh-huh. Blue checkered. Uh, matches the eyes, if you can see. It does. So that's what I've gone with there. Then we've got, uh, this is from the Big and Tall Shop. Okay, so then we've got, it looks like I've got an erection, but that's just my belt. I've got it pulled up high because I'm fat and I like to be able to bend over without people seeing my arse. So that's what the reason for that. <laughs> uh, then we've got a maroon top. This I'm sort of rethinking. I'm Why? thinking, should I have gone blue maroon? Am I doing no. the whole I spectrum? like that. I like that. Okay, she likes the maroon. Yeah. So, so maroon top. Can you guess where it's from? That's right. It's from the big and tall shop. <laughs> and then we are going to finish that off. With some black jeans. Fabulous. And I have shoes on as well, but I don't have the range of motion to show you them. So Okay. There They're, you go. Oh black, you do. Oh my god, hi black kick. Runner. Sorry, I nearly killed you there. That's okay. So that's the fit check. Sick. How was that? Do you think that I was could, really good. I think you could do those more often. Do you think I could get some views on them? Absolutely. Brown oh. Thomas, sponsor him. Yeah. Brown Honestly. Thomas, I don't know what you make, but I'll sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so if we were to um if you were to if you were to give me some advice, how can I improve my fit? How can I bring my fit up up to that next level? 
Oh, oh, see the thing. I'd say we have very drastically different styles. Yeah, mine would be whatever fits. <laughs> right. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> if you had to like think of a celebrity in their style, like what would you? Who would you be like? Oh yeah, I'd love like a dress like that. I suppose it's got to be Jack Black, hasn't it? It's right. Well, then that, you're on that already. <laughs> We've got it. But let's say I wanted to like, let's say I wanted to go for like, you know, I want to be like a Gucci model. Mm. Obviously, I'd have to wear Gucci. Let's go. Let's go. Like, I want to be like, I want to look a bit more French. French. How, how would I? How would I do that? Bit more stylish. Bit more French. Right, French. I would go a white t-shirt, like plain white. Plain white. That is that puts weight on you. Just I'm just going to tell you, horizontal stripes and white don't listen, really work for listen, me. Listen, okay, listen, okay, listen, okay, listen. Okay. 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 White shirt. Okay. Then slacks that are a little high because that's the French love that like yeah. black slacks and like a little belt. Mm-hmm. Wear those little high like Simon Cowell kind of style, uh-huh. a little high. Then you're gonna get a sweater. Okay. And put that over your shoulders. You're not going to wear it. Yeah. You're just going to put it over your shoulders. Any shade. Yeah. And then a nice pair of like sambas. What's a samba? I need a sambas. What's a samba? Oh my, a sambo. <laughs> I know them. <laughs> I know them very fucking it's well. It's like the what? It's the white Adidas shoes with the stripes on them. Oh right, okay. I think. See that's now, a I'm fit. a size 14 foot, so it's not easy to get me Shit. shoes and every everything. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you can get them in a fucking in a, in a I man's think you foot. Could. Yeah, absolutely. Let's absolutely. Go for it. Okay, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Should I, should I jewelry it up? Do you think? I that's... think a simple like silver chain. Should I become one of them men that wears like seventy rings? That would be cool. With your tattoos, that'd be cool. I don't. I, I always feel like they're gonna send me something illegal. Do you know I don't want to give off that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never looked like a man that had tattoos to me. Do well, you... I do. I do. I do. You have a full. I have a sleeve. sleeve. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. sick. I'm the yeah because it's because I'm the geography teacher of TikTok. That's yeah, but then it. you're like, oh, I'm I'm actually a PE teacher because you're yeah, kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely not a PE teacher. <laughs> actually, a lot of my PE teachers were fat, so that's. Oh I always found it a bit strange. I was like, really? Like, I mean, if there's a job you shouldn't be fat for, maybe PE teacher is, is uh, the one. Be, yeah, I if, think you can you be can't do any teach. other type of teacher. You can be fat. Nah, if you can't do But teach, a PE though. teacher? I don't know. I don't know. M- maybe maybe I'm being fat phobic, but it doesn't matter because I am be. fat. I have a pass. <laughs> <laughs> I just think if I ever see a fat PE teacher, I'm just like, well, well, get yourself into fucking shit. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. (laughs) Set an example, man. (laughs) Um, So you were telling me before, so before we started, I was trying to learn a bit more about TikTok. Yes. So you were in a thing called the Go House. Yeah, I was. I understand this is like a, 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 what was the word you used? A hype house. A hype house. What's a hype house? The Hype House was a house that like started in the US of all, like the American TikTokers. Yeah. They just basically just put them all in a house. Yeah. So they could make content like, yes. during COVID. So that's what they tried to do with us, but we flopped tremendously. Okay. Right. That happens. That's okay. Yeah. I'm <laughs> so a what, flop what's era. Like, what was like the idea of it? So it was like it was like like you're all just gonna make TikToks in there. Basically, it's just okay. like to make people collab and like we had like a, a house channel. So like there was a YouTube channel, a TikTok and yeah. an Instagram just for the house. So like we'd all make TikToks and content for the house. And then we'd also like do stuff on our own and like collab with each other. Okay. It was f- like, it only lasted like four months, but... That's a long time to be in a house with a lot of TikTokers though. Yeah, there was... I was there 11 of us but then like all like the camera and crew people like were also in the house all the and time and they were there all the time most of the, so who there was, was like, paying for this god knows <laughs> I actually know don't pay- know I actually this is part of the problem I actually don't know okay yeah. so you just got an email like from someone just going do you wanna oh no I knew the lads that started them I'd met okay, well I'd met okay, one okay. of them before and um, like it seemed like a great idea I was like fuck yeah also like I'm 18 what yeah. else am I do- doing during COVID like you know what yeah. I mean yeah so it was fun at the start, but then, oh, Jesus Christ. It's just. Yeah, okay. I got sick of them. Maybe I should start like a new one. Oh, well, I'm not going in it. So. That's all right. I was going to like kind of get like old people. <laughs> <laughs> what, a retirement like home? A, no, like my age. <laughs> like we're, uh, we're the elder statesmen of like, just like all them dads that review spice bags on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. And get, just get the them all into just, a house. The house would just stink of spice and we'd bags all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. We'd all collab. Yeah. Eric Roberts can be there and he won't smell us, so it'll be fine. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Eric, will you be, answer me now, will you be in my collab house? I think, yeah, just get all the old fella, like there's all them like 30 plus men who review spice bags on TikTok. Now, one house, who can review the spice bags the best? I'm not going to lie, I haven't seen many of those. You I mean, were on completely different yeah, sides. Yeah, I feel like we are. Every single video I see on TikTok is like, oh, Rui, what's the spice bag like going to... That's literally... I'm not making fun of Nasty. I love Nasty. <laughs> I love Actually, Nasty, nasty. come on the back. Yeah. But it's just some Dublin fella who's gone to some obscure takeaway. Yeah. And they're all 
in my opinion, copy and nasty. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> so they're all do it. They're all trying to do that one format. Yeah, and it's like, it's like uh, be a bit more creative. Well, it's not even creativity. It's just like I feel like. Spice bags aren't that different from each other, are they? No, they're all the same. How many times have you had a spice bag and gone, oh, that was completely different to the last Never. spice bag? Never, like not once. Have we even talked about your snacks yet? No, we haven't. Okay, I don't, we actually didn't even get into it. We were so busy talking about TikTok. Yeah. We haven't even got to the snacks yet. If you want to support this podcast and get a full ad-free episode, sign up to Headstuff Plus. The family that vacations together stays together. At least that was the plan. Except now the dastardly desk clerk is saying he can't confirm your connecting rooms. Uh, wait, what? That's right, ma'am. You have rooms 201 and 709. No, we cannot be five floors away from our kids. Eh, the doors have double locks. They'll be fine. When you want your connecting rooms confirmed before you arrive, it matters where you stay. Welcome to Hilton. I see your connecting rooms are already confirmed. Hilton. For the stay. This episode is brought to you by United Airlines. When you want to make the most of your vacation, book with United. They're an airline that cares about your travels as much as you do. United is transforming the flying experience with Bluetooth connectivity, screens, power at every seat, and bigger overhead bins to help fit everyone's bag. And with their app, you can skip the bag check line, get live updates, and more. Change the way you fly. Book your next trip today at united.com. Here's my snacks. So let's go drink first, your drink of choice. Okay, I need to preface, this is not the exact drink of choice because I did not have it in any of the shops. I feel like there's a shortage. Yeah. Sprite Zero, specifically. Sprite Zero. This is normal Sprite, however. This is, yeah, unfortunately. So I, I also drink Sprite Zero just to kind of justify yes. all the shite I eat tomorrow. So I'm like, I drink Sprite Zero, so No, it's there's fine. just something about... <laughs> I prefer it. It's so much better. It's yeah. like, do you know what I always say? Like, Sprite Zero is crunchy. Yeah, it's like it's out. It has to be out of a can too. Yeah, the can gives it like a, it gives it like I don't know, it like makes it like brighter. Yeah, makes the flavor brighter. And the fizz after it's like. Whew. Yeah, it's really fizzy out of the can. I feel more hydrated out of a can. Yeah, totally agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, my favorite is Pepsi Max out of a can. That's yes. the best. That's the best drink you can have. Um, but I agree with you. Diet drinks because I've t- had them more now. Yes. they taste better to me. So much better. So I've been drinking Coke Zero for ages, and now when I try and drink regular Coke, it it feels. Viscous. It feels like thick. Okay, do you want to elaborate on that big word for me? Yeah, it feels thick. Like <laughs> okay. it feels like thick in my mouth. I don't know how to explain <laughs> it. It's like if you drink low fat milk and then you drink normal milk, you realize how thick normal milk is. Or yeah, when because my friend or yeah, my roommate has like this weird oat milk. But oh. it's, like, it's like it's not oat milk, it's oat drink. Okay. And it's so watery. And then when I drink my own oat milk, I'm like, ugh. Oh, there's different types of oat milk. Yeah. How do you get milk out of an oat? Do you know? I mean, I think you just like squeeze it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just squeeze it and tell tell it it's good luck. Yeah, and tell it. You'll yeah. get milk eventually. <laughs> yeah, same trick with pretty much everyone. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, basically. so what's our snack? <laughs> my snack is... Okay. I always say the way to my heart is barbecue hula hoops. Oh, fabulous. This yes. is the goat. I am obsessed with this. If you actually want me to fall in love with you, buy me barbecue hula hoops. Excellent choice. Mm-hmm. I actually have a thing about uh, hula hoops. So um, okay. I don't like ready salted anything. Yeah. But my favorite, like top five favorite crisp of all time is ready salted hula hoops. The red but, ones? Yes, because for some reason, they're the only ready salted thing that tastes unreal. I love them. These are yeah. good too. No, they're the my, best. The ready salted is actually my favorite hula hoop and it's one of my favorite crisps of all time. I That's like the, crazy. I get the bigger bag though. Yeah, the, they the didn't have, the, you know, the, the, the big ones, they don't have, they didn't have those either. Yeah. But my, I don't like barbecue anything. Like yes. I like barbecue nothing, no other barbecued flavor crisps. If there's, if there's barbecue sauce on something, I won't eat it. But barbecue hula hoops, smash. Excellent choices. Excellent choices. Thank right. you. Now, we were meant to have have a have a meal for you, but there's been some logistical errors this week, so okay. we don't we don't have a meal for a couple of people. But what would be like your favorite death row meal? Death row meal, whatever. It doesn't have to be death row. Just whatever is your favorite. My comfort meal. Okay. Well, I, I I have like a comfort meal, and then I'd have my death row meal. You can go into you can go into both. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Comfort meal is red pesto pasta and cheese and bacon. Okay. That is like if. It, Solves all my problems. I'm sad. I make pesto pasta. 
Italian, as everybody knows, I'm an eighth Italian, so I'm I'm pro that. Yeah. See, you're pro, you're pro pesto and pasta. Red pesto, especially love it. Red yeah. pesto, especially. I only put my roommate onto it there. Like I was like, it's so much better than green pesto. It's nice on a sandwich. So yeah, good, yeah, a ciabatta. Yeah. A sprinkle of that with some, yeah, yeah. put that in the ciabatta. Bit of bacon. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You can put anything. I like it with a bit of egg. Ooh. Like a breakfast sandwich with a pesto, kind of lightens it up, makes it more European. With your scrambled eggs. Well, no, I I put like a like a fried egg on it. You could you could do. Scrambles, I do scrambled eggs and pesto. Dear, mm. very. Exotic. I did my pizza and pesto sometimes. You dip your pizza, but wow, you're living. The, you are living the high life in Dublin, aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm giving posh. I buy it all from M and S as well. <laughs> oh, M and S! I went in there actually for the first time a couple of weeks ago, and it's amazing. and I bought um, I was just bought a few things out of there, but I got this porridge, and Ooh. it was like creamy porridge, and I was like, oh, I'm not arsed with porridge. Like I won't fucking, yeah. I won't binge eat that. That's fine. I'll just buy that. Bought it anyway, and I had one taste of the fucking thing. It was like <sighs> crack. I don't know what the it, fuck they were putting in it. There's just so much. I was like, M&S what are these rich English people doing? Them. I know. Have I you had fuck, the... and I had like nine of them. I was just like, fuck yeah. They make ready made sushi in pesto and or oh, in M&S and Don't worry, I've, well. I've been back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been I've back returned. in. I'm sampling the worst. I'm trying to stay away from the cake section because I go over to the cake <laughs> section and I'm like, oh, what are you up to in, in there? Like, these are, these are good. addictive. Addictive. Yeah. Um, so so we've got the, the pasto. Mm-hmm. The, pa- the pasto. Pasto. I'm copyright that. <laughs> yeah. Copyright that. <laughs> That's good. Pasta could be the name of my upcoming eighth Italian restaurant. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we've got the the pasta with red pesto, cheese, and bacon. Mm-hmm. What's your other meal? Is this your main meal? This then? is my main meal. Okay. This is like my favorite. Like anything Indian food, I eat it up. Okay. So I always get. I'm actually going for a Pakistani meal with Eric Ooh. Roberts this evening. Oh my god! Can I come? What yeah, the hell? I think he's only got room for one. Oh, is he? I don't oh, know. Really? I mean, that's just what I was told. Oh, right. Okay, date night. I won't intrude. No problem. Um, I don't know. Maybe he does. Maybe, maybe, maybe he can go. I don't know. <laughs> um, no, but I get onion bhajis. Have you ever had an onion? Yeah, bhaji? yeah, hundred percent. It's like a like sexy onion ring. Yeah, they're Def- unreal. Oh my god, it's so good. I at my twenty first birthday, I had a whole Indian buffet delivered I to my you were house. I had an onion bhaji cake. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great as well. To be honest, nobody ate the cake. We only ate the onion badgies. Okay, so you had a whole like banquet. Yeah, banquet. so what okay. we do is we'll like for any occasions, we'll get like the buffet delivered to the house. So mm-hmm. like they have like the whole trays and the candles underneath. And we like I would literally eat Indian all night. At five o'clock yeah. in the morning, I was eating onion badgies. Oh, okay. So good. So so onion badgies your favorite or is this like a... This is like, so that's the starter. Okay, let's go. Okay. And then we have either a Jalfrezi or a Balti. Okay. Curry. Was chicken curry. Oh my god! I've only ever had korma and Ooh, and tikka. Jalfrezi is spicy. Like, do you spicy. like spice? I do actually. Yeah, like you I would do, be yeah. on the toilet after. Like, that's all. Well, I go to the toilet every day anyway. Yeah, so. <laughs> convenient. Yeah, yeah. Convenient. So anyway. I might as well just slip that in while I'm while I'm going anyway. <laughs> exactly. And pilo rice and garlic naan. That's okay, my fabulous. Favorite. Yeah, yeah. When I go to the, I can't. Well, it's not that I can't go. Like, I like going to the Indian place, but um, I I, I always order like I'm like, oh, do you know. I might get a couple of the nans and just have yeah. a bit, just have a bit of them, you know, just because mm-hmm. I like the, is it called Pashwari? Is yes. that the one with the stuff in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like a taste of that, but I don't like the whole thing. Like this is the sort yeah. of shit, this is the sort of shit I tell myself, no, because I'm about to just prove that I do like the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, I want to get a Pashwari, but like, I don't want the whole thing. It's, yeah. it's very rich. Too much. This is the sort of shit I tell myself. And then I, I'll go, I'll just get a normal one as well. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'll have that and then I'll have just a, just just pick at the Pashwari. Try the fucking table. <laughs> and, I'll, and they'll give me free pompadoms and you know, I'm having them as well. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking up those pompadoms yeah, every yeah, yeah. time. This Pop, is... That pompadoms are weird because they taste weird, but uh, I like it. I think prawn, co- prawn cocktails, prawn crackers taste weird. I don't like them. Oh, I love well, I love prawn crackers. I think they taste I, I so strange. I sprinkle them on top of my Chinese like croutons. It's like a salad. That's so, it is like a salad. <laughs> Just like a salad. Exactly, it is. Yeah. It's exactly like a salad. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So, that. so Balt is Balti or Jalfrezi either or, or do you have a preference? Uh, preferably Jalfrezi. Okay, but it depends. Like each restaurant, it could be like it could be way too spicy in one restaurant. Okay, so like depends on how spicy. So Jalfrezi, onion bhaji. Do you have a, like a dessert? No, I'm not a dessert. Not lady. a dessert person. No, because I will devour that. That endless. means you do like dessert. <laughs> oh, I do like dessert, <laughs> but I just can't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have the stomach for it in okay, the end. Okay, okay. You're you're on death row. You know. I mean, why not? Ah. Um, okay, so that's a, that's excellent. Excellent yeah. choice. Very exotic. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm an exotic very girl. Very world. Very worldly. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Well, Lauren, it's been an absolute pleasure. No, thank you so, so much. much. If anybody wants to follow you, where can they find you? Uh, I'm on TikTok. Um, it's Lauren Whelan and Instagram. It's Lauren Whelan with like 7 million ends at the end. I actually can't remember how many ends are on it. 
And I'm Lauren Meal on YouTube. I don't really post on there, but sometimes. You might want to go on and have a look. Yeah. Stay delicious, guys. Love you. <laughs>